गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज कोटेशन ऑफ आयोटा इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट ए एस टी बी एस टी पी डी ए ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर ओवर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज कोटेशन ऑफ आयोटा नो वॉट इज कोटेशन ऑफ आयोटा कोटेशन ऑफ आयोटा इज अ वेरी कॉमन कंजराइटल हार्ट डिफेक्ट ओके वॉट इज वॉट इज द मीनिंग इट कम्स फ्रॉम अ लैटिन वर्ड Uh, which means to uh, uh, quartery it uh, this is the latin word quartery and this means to press together and what it is in the coaptation of aorta the aorta is pinched in or narrowed okay ya to pichka hua hai kisi jagah mein ya to narrow ho gaya hai so that is coaptation of aorta so this can be in a single location or it can be along a portion of length okay so this can be at one point or this can be uh, a longer it to a longer longer distance a distance so whenever it is maybe pinched in a single location or maybe a longer portion the result is it this narrowing res, restricts the normal blood flow through aorta hai na aorta we know it arises from left ventricle and uh, we know that oxygenated blood is supplied to all parts of the body through aorta तो अगर एवोटा किसी एक पॉइंट में पिंचड है और मे बी टू सम डिस्टेंस इट इज नैरो द रिजल्ट इज ब्लड सप्लाई ठीक से नहीं हो पाएगा सो दिस नैरो रिस्ट्रिक्ट नॉर्मल ब्लड फ्लो थ्रू द एवोटा सो दिस वॉज फर्स्ट डिस्क्राइब बाई मोरगैग्नी इन सेवनटीन सिक्सटी ओके एंड दिस इज यूजली अ प्रॉक्सिमल प्रॉक्सिमल मतलब पहले अभी मैं आगे क्या दिखाऊंगी डायग्राम सो यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड सो देखो ये आप ये आपको दिख रहा है दिस इज हाउ इट लुक्स ओके आयोटा स्ट्रेट होने के बजाय इट इज इंडेंटेड मतलब ऐसा अंदर की ओर हुआ गया सो द रिजल्ट इज वेरी लेस स्पेस ओके सो कैक्टेशन ऑफ आयोटा ऑकर्स इन वन इन टेन थाउजेंड लाइफ बर्थ फाइव टू टेन परसेंट ऑफ ऑल कैथेनेटल हार्ट डिजीज इट इज लेस 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 कॉमन बट इट इज नॉट अनयूजल फॉर द डायग्नोसिस टू बी मेड इन एडल्टुड बट समटाइम्स चिल्ड्रेन डोंट नो दैट देयर केसेस ऑफ कैक्टेशन ऑफ आयोटा the problem may be identified even during adult adulthood it is more common in males as compared to females and uh, they this is common in do in genetic defects which is called as uh, turner syndrome so those children who have turner syndrome the uh, coaptation of aorta is more in that now what are the types we have three types first is preductal ductal and postductal in the next slide i will be showing the diagram of it प्री डक्टल हमको लास्ट टाइम वेन वी वर स्टडिंग अबाउट फीटल सर्कुलेशन दी हैलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट डक्टस आर्टीरियोसिस डक्टस आर्टीरियोसिस क्या है इट इज अट इज अ डक्ट बिटवीन पलमनरी आर्टरी एंड आयोटा विच नॉर्मली क्लोजेस सुन आफ्टर द बर्थ ऑफ द बेबी विथ इट मे टेक इवन फिफ्टीन आवर्स टू क्लोज सो दैट इज डक्टस आर्टीरियोसिस प्री डक्टल मतलब द प्लेस वेयर डक्टस अटैचेस इट सेल्फ उसके पहले दैट इज कॉल्ड एस प्री डक्टल क्वैक्टेशन डक्टल क्वैक्टेशन ऑकर्स एट द इंसर्शन ऑफ डक्टस आर्टेरियोस जिस पॉइंट में आयोटा से अटैच हो रहा है डक्टस आर्टेरियोस इट कैन मैरो कैन एट दैट पोजिशन ऑल्सो और पोस्ट डक्टल इज आफ्टर द डिस्टल डिस्टल टू इंसर्शन ऑफ डिस्टल मतलब बाद में प्रॉक्सिमल मतलब पहले ओके सो सेम थिंग है वन थिंग टू रिमेंबर इज यू फर्स्ट आइडेंटिफाई द पोजिशन ऑफ डॉक्टर सार्टीरियोसिस डॉक्टर डॉक्टर सार्टीरियोसिस से प्रॉक्सिमल मतलब पहले है तो इट इज कॉल्ड एज प्री डक्टल इफ इट इज एट द पोजिशन ऑफ डॉक्टर सार्टीरियोसिस इट इज कॉल्ड एज डक्टल क्वेक्टेशन और इफ इट इज बियॉन्ड द लेवल ऑफ इंसर्शन ऑफ डॉक्टर सार्टीरियोसिस दैन इट इज कॉल्ड एज पोस्ट डॉक्टर ओके सो देखो ये डायग्राम से थिंग से भी लिख लिया बट दिस इज डॉक्टर आर्टेरियोस वेयर दिस इज डॉक्टर आर्टेरियोस विच इज अ कनेक्शन बिटवीन पलमनरी आर्टरी एंड एवटा अब देखो क्वैक्टेशन नैरोइंग कहाँ पर है इट इज डॉक्टर आर्टेरियोस के पहले सो दिस इज प्री डॉक्टर पोस्ट डॉक्टर सी डॉक्टर आर्टेरियोस इज हियर बट क्वैक्टेशन इज हियर बट इफ यू हैव दिस क्वैक्टेशन एट दिस लेवल सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज डॉक्टर क्वैक्टेशन Uh, मेरे ख्याल से मतलब आपको समझ में आ गया है यू हैव टू फर्स्ट 
see the place where ductus arteriosus is attaching to the aorta okay so if it is before the insertion it is preductal if it if it is at the point of insertion it is ductal and if it is beyond the insertion of uh, ductus it is post ductal so three type ke coagulation uh, okay now what is the pathophysiology if you if you have coagulation koi bhi type ho pre ductal ho ductal ho post ductal whatever it is so there is mechanical obstruction of blood flow from the left left ventricle left uh, uh, we know that aorta arises from the left left ventricle and the blood will not be able to flow properly from the left ventricle to the aorta theek hai mechanical obstruction matlab rasta band hai uh, yeah, uh, not band it is uh, narrow okay so uh, because it is narrow whole of the blood will not be able to be shunted from the left ventricle to aorta theek hai now the issue is where wherever there is narrowing pressure proximal to coagulation is elevated proximal matlab coagulation jahan par hai ya narrowing jahan par hai uske pehle ka bhag that is called as proximal so the pressure proximal to coagulation is increased why kyunki narrowing ke blood thik se ja nahi pa raha pipe ko beech mein pani behta hua pipe ko if you if you pinch it between the issue is जहाँ पिंच के उसके पहले की जगह में देर विल बी कलेक्शन ऑफ वाटर सेम थिंग ऑकर्स इन क्वेक्टेशन ऑफ आयोटा द प्रेशर प्रॉक्सिमल टू क्वेक्टेशन इज एलिवेटेड जहाँ पर क्वेक्टेशन है उसके पहले के एरिया में द प्रेशर विल बी बोर नॉट टू थिंग्स ऑकर हियर फर्स्ट इज दिस लीड्स टू लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकुलर हाइपरट्रॉफी what what happens when the ब्लड इज नॉट फ्लोइंग प्रॉपरली टू द आउटर सो द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल विल इंक्रीज मोर प्रेशर so that somehow the blood can pass through the narrowing and go to the dis, dis, distal part so that is left ventricle hyper, hypertrophy kyu hypertrophy ho raha hai because the left left blood uh, because the left ventricle increases the pressure so that somehow the blood can be shunted to the other side dusra kya ho raha hai collateral vessels bypass the obstruction so these are internal mammary and intercostal collateral matlab new blood vessels ka wo kya hoga naya blood vessel banega kahan se kahan tak so these are internal mammary and intercostal matlab jahan pe obstruction hai wahan se ek pipe ban jayega beyond the obstruction देखो एक पाइप है बीच में क्वैक्टेशन है सो यू हैव न्यू ब्लड वेसल्स व्हिच आर फ्रॉमिंग ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन के पहले टू ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन के बाद सो दीज आर कॉल्ड एज कोलैटरल ब्लड वेसल व्हिच बाईपासस द ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन बाईपासस मतलब ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन जहां है वहां पे अटैचमेंट नहीं होगा ओके सो दैट इज कोलैटरल ब्लड ब्लड वेसल्स एंड दीज आर कॉल्ड एज इंटरनल मेमोरी और इट कैन बी इंटरकोस्टल्स ओके now coagulation uh, causes less blood reaches the, to the kidneys okay so when you have the so we know that coagulation uh, where the aorta uh, it turns and comes down and becomes abdominal aorta and uh, this uh, from the abdominal aorta we have the renal artery which is supplying to both the both the kidneys so if you have less blood which is coming to दी डिस्टल पार्ट डिस्टल पार्ट ऑफ एटा मतलब जहां पर ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन है उसके बाद वाले जगह में लेस ब्लड है बिकॉज ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन के कारण ब्लड ठीक से आया नहीं सो द रिजल्ट इज किडनीज में लेस ब्लड रीचेस बिकॉज लेस ब्लड इज रीचिंग द किडनी सो जेक्स्ट्रा ग्लोमरल सेल्स इन किडनी दे सिक्रीट रनिंग डायरेक्टली इन टू दू सर्कुलेशन सो वेन एवर यू हैव लेस अमाउंट ऑफ ब्लड रीचिंग द किडनीज तो क्या होगा रन इन सिक्रीट हो जाएगा ओके नाउ रन इन Uh, is secreted renin is a hormone okay so it is secreted directly to cir circulation now plasma renin angiotensin secreted by liver is converted to angiotensin 1 so renin what will uh, renin renin 2 it will it will stimulate the uh, uh, liver to uh, um, to form plasma renin angio angiotensin and this is converted to angiotensin 1 okay next is angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2 by angiotensin converting enzyme that is ace uh, angiotensin uh, converting enzyme and this is a potent vasotic uh, vasoactive peptide okay now two things occur so when angiotensin 1 is con converted to angiotensin 2 the bp increases because of 
blood vessel constriction. The blood vessel constricts and blood pressure increases. We know that blood whenever there is vasoconstriction, blood, blood pressure increases. Another problem is whenever angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2, this also stimulates the adrenal cortex to secrete aldosterone. Okay. Adre uh, adrenal glands kaha par hai? They are suprarenal glands. Kidney ke upar chote, though over both the kidneys we have adrenal glands. So adrenal cortex se secrete hota aldosterone. So aldosterone se what is what is the issue? This increases reabsorption of water and sodium into the into the blood. So you have more uh, volume, and uh, this uh, also causes increase in uh, blood uh, blood pressure. So the blood pressure increases. Uh, this is the uh, flow chart to explain why blood pressure in, uh, increases. Okay, blood blood pressure increases due to two reasons because angiotensin one renin is secreted. Uh, uh, see here is less blood reaches the kidneys. Just have glomerular cells in kidney, they secrete renin. Renin will stimulate the liver to form plasma renin angio angiotensin, and this is converted uh, to angio angiotensin one. Angiotensin one is converted to angiotensin two with the help of an enzyme which is called as angiotensin converting enzyme, and this causes the vasoconstriction and increase in BP. Angiotensin uh, uh, 1, uh, when it is converted to angio, angiotensin 2, it also stimulates the adrenal cortex to secrete aldosterone. And what is the uh, uh, action of aldosterone? This increases reabsorption of water and sodium. There is more, more uh, volume and uh, the blood pressure increases. So, blood pressure increases due to two things. One is conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 and also due to secretion of uh, aldos, aldosterone and uh, aldosterone causes more absorption of water and sodium and uh, this uh, because of more fluid more uh, blood blood pressure will be there okay now this is the reason for uh, uh, the uh, increased blood pressure okay pathophysiology mein two part hai. one is what occurs due to co coactation coactation se mechanical obstruction hua so the result is jahan obstruction hai uske pehle wal bhag mein pressure is more so left it it leads to left ventricular hyper uh, hypertrophy or because the left ventricle will try uh, to increase the pressure in each of the construction to isse isse kya hoga left left ventricle hyper hypertrophy ho jayega so what is the body do what it, it causes the formation of collateral blood vessel jahan obstruction hai uske pehle aur baad ke beech mein new blood vessels occurs so these blood, uh, blood vessels are internal mammary and inter, intercostal dusra pathophysiology a reason of hypertension why bp is increased in quiet Coactation. The Kwabi M Logne ASD VSD Pada PDA Pada there was no issue of hypertension. But in coactation, one of the symptoms is hypertension. This is the reason why BP is increased in coactation because less blood is reaching the kidneys. Okay? Less, less blood hua, uh, renin is stimulated. Renin will stimulate the liver to form plasma renin angiotensin, which is converted to, to angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2 by angiotensin converting enzyme and this causes vasoconstriction and BP increases. This also stimulates the adrenal cortex to secrete aldo aldosterone and this causes reabsorption of water and sodium into the blood. There will be more, more volume of uh, fluid and there will be more uh, blood pressure. Okay. Now, what are, uh, what, are, uh, what are the symptoms? Symptoms again will depend on the severity. More constriction, more severe uh, symptoms. Okay. Uh, so, pale skin, irritability, heavy sweating, difficulty in breathing, difficulty in feeding. So, this uh, these are the in severe uh, children, uh, in, in severe constriction. But if it is mild, it may not be even diagnosed till adult, adulthood. Okay. A severe lesion in infancy will cause poor uh, feeding, growth failure because uh, poor feeding will def, def, definitely cause growth failure. Tachyp, uh, tachypnea will be there because the left, left ventricle tries to increase the pressure and when uh, the, uh, uh, the supply of oxygenated blood is not there in all parts of the body because, because of the constriction, the body, the body will try to uh, uh, in, uh, uh, increase the respiratory rate also. Okay, uh, uh, so 
so that somehow the oxy oxygenated supply to heart is increased then peripheral edema uh, will be there because of pooling of blood acid ac acidosis and congestive heart failure see this is the diagram uh, of coagulation of aorta there is heart bl high blood pressure before the point of contraction see there is the constriction and you will find high blood pressure here here to arms it is high okay but low blood pressure beyond the so this area will be low blood pressure okay this this area will be low towards down and high blood pressure will be towards up okay now sinus symptoms after infancy high blood pressure will be there headache because more blood is going to the uh, uh, to the brain muscle weakness will be there legs cra leg cramps on cold feet why because less blood is going to the feet nose no splits because more blood is going uh, to the upper upper part of the body chest pain and if you measure the difference between if you take bp of arm and if you take bp from leg you will find a pressure difference of more than 20 mm of hg if this is more then uh, uh, bp apne hath se liya pair se liya heart ka bp is more than 20 mg dono ka difference mein 20 mg hai so this indicates quack coagulation okay uh, then is uh, diag uh, diagnosis again will depend on the severity of the condition so high blood pressure in the arms pressure difference between arms and uh, arms and legs fir aap pulse feel karenge so there will be weak or delayed pulse in the leg aap haath aur pair dono ka pulse feel karenge simultaneously feel nahi hoga you will have a delayed pulse or it may be a weak pulse weak pulse kisko show karta less volume coagulation ke karan less blood is reaching to the legs you will find ki haath ka feel karenge to volume badhiya hai but if you feel for the legs they are weak pulse hum log dekho characteristics of pulse mein one is uh, rate second is rhythm third is volume so weak pulse matlab volume matlab aapko mushkil se pulse feel ho payega but arm ka pulse you can uh, easily feel in the hands okay next is heart murmur an abnormal whooshing sound caused by faster blood flow to the narrow narrow area so if you use a stethoscope you can hear the heart murmur what are the uh, diagnostic tests first is eco eco cardiogram is one of the best uh, investigative uh, techniques uh, so here uh, you can use the sound uh, sound waves so we can find out the location location means is it pre-ductal, ductal or post-ductal? We can find out. Or if some associated heart defects like bic bicuspid, uh, 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 aortic valve is also affected, this, this also can be found out by eco echocardiogram. If you take ECG, ECG uh, uh, you will find uh, symptom, uh, the, um, uh, you can diagnose left ventricular hyper hypertrophy with uh, electrocardiogram. Uh, uh, okay. Next is X-ray uh, X-ray chest. X-ray chest uh, will uh, show the narrowing of the aorta and uh, at the at, at, at the site, or it may even show enlarged size of the aorta proximal proximal to the coagulation size. MRI, if you take, uh, so MRI uh, also will help help to identify the location and the severity and damage to blood vessels or any other heart defect is there. This we can find out by MRI. Okay. So this is how eco in echocardiogram you can easily identify the coagulation. Okay. Next, the CT scan also will uh, help you to this uh, to um, uh, di uh, diagnosis. Next is CG angiogram. CT angiogram means we use a radio opaque dye. So once you do a radio opaque dye, so this will uh, this can show the location and severity of the coag uh, coagulation, and we can also find out whether other blood vessels are effect affected or not. And by doing this, we can find out uh, the severity of the condition. Then cardiac catheterization also can be used, and we can use uh, radio opaque dye uh, in cardiac catheterization uh, to. Uh, uh, to find out the severity of the defects okay so when we do uh, cardiac catheterization we can uh, use maybe uh, we can use the femoral root or we can use the arm uh, maybe neck and then we can uh, uh, we can thread it uh, to, to 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 the heart and we can uh, simultaneously we'll be using the x-ray imaging to find out 
the tip of the catheter okay and we can even use dye during this procedure now medical management is we give prostaglandins okay prostaglandins if you remember uh, uh, pda uh, we were discussing uh, during pda we we, uh, we 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 studied that uh, in pda uh, two things were required okay uh, first is prostaglandin uh, we require uh, more oxygen and uh, less prost prostaglandin okay so this was what so that is why we were giving those medicines which are called as cox inhibitor to decrease uh, to uh, to decrease the amount of prostaglandin because we want it to close earlier but here in coaptation we are giving prostaglandins why because we don't want the ductus to close we don't want ductus to close okay so that is why uh, in uh, if you uh, if uh, coactation is severe we give prostaglandin so that uh, the uh, the ductus does not uh, does not close okay so uh, prostaglandin even uh, is the injection what we what we give 0 0.05 to 0 0.1 microgram per kg per minute to reopen the constricted ductus arter uh, arteriosus okay so this helps to this will give some relief see this is a just a uh, what we call just to have uh, some improved blood supply uh, so that uh, better oxygenated blood supply so that is why we give uh, this uh, uh, prosta prostaglandin to keep the ductus arteriosus open okay so uh, what is the adva advantage it also allows the pulmonary artery blood to bypass the aortic uh, aortic obstruction via the right to left shunt across the ductus and increase the perfusion and descending aorta okay so uh, uh, why are we uh, doing this uh, prostra uh, why are we giving this prostra prostaglandin so once uh, you have uh, what is ductus arteriosus it is a um, uh, it is a pipe which connects the pulmonary artery and aorta that is ductus arteriosus if the ductus arteriosus is open so the advantage is it will bypass the aortic obstruction via right to left shunt okay uh, um, here what we have is uh, if you give prostaglandin there will be right to left shunt and this increases the perfusion of descending aorta and uh, improves the uh, systemic perfusion and reversing the metabolic acid acidosis okay so what uh, what happens is see we have more amount of blood uh, which is in aorta now theek hai aorta mein abhi pressure zyada hai theek hai tab kya hoga there will be uh, the blood will be shunted from the aorta into the pulmonary artery okay from the pulmonary artery uh, this uh, um, the blood will be shunted from the pul pul pulmonary artery and this will give blood to the descending aorta okay so uh, so in that way uh, prosta prostaglandins will be helpful okay now is uh, children with coactation have um, blood increased blood pressure abhi humne dekha because of two reasons conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 and second uh, uh, the second is aldosterone so these children are hypertensive तो हाइपरटेंशन कम करने के लिए वी नीड टू गिव वी कैन ट्रीट विद बीटा ब्लॉकर्स और वी कैन गिव एस और कैल्शियम कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर सो दिस कैन बी कैन बी गिवन आफ्टर द रिपेयर ऑफ कोएक्टेशन आल्सो हाइपरटेंशन मे परसिस्ट और डेवलप इयर्स आफ्टर द रिपेयर एंड कैन बी ट्रीटेड विद बीटा ब्लॉकर्स एस इनिबेटिव और एंजियोटेंसिन टू रिसेप्टिव ब्लॉकर्स और कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर्स ठीक है सो हाइपर हाइपर टेंशन इवन आफ्टर द रिपेयर ऑल्सो दिस दिस चिल्ड्रन मे डेवलप हाइपर टेंशन लेटर इन लाइफ सो इफ हाइपर टेंशन इज देयर वी हैव टू गिव एंटी हाइपर टेंसिव ड्रग्स एंड दीज आर द डिफरेंट क्लासेस ऑफ हाइपर टेंसिव ड्रग्स विच दे कैन टेक ओके Uh, if there is fluid overload then um, this congestive heart failure is there so you you need to give diuretics
then oxygen also can be given uh, to the child but oxygen needs to be used with caution okay uh, why because uh, by giving oxygen there is decrease in pulmonary vascular resistance decrease in pulmonary vascular resistance ka matlab kya uh, lungs ke blood vessels dilate ho jayenge so more blood, pul pulmonary blood flow will be there and uh, systemic blood flow kam ho jayega theek hai so we don't want more blood to go to the lungs we want just optimal blood to go to go to the lungs par agar blood vessels uh, lungs ka blood vessels agar dilate ho jayega to jyada blood lungs mein chale chale jayega at the expense of systemic blood flow okay so this we don't want this we don't want we only want a normal thing to take place so when we give oxygen to children with uh, with coagulation we have to use with caution because oxygen causes pulmonary blood vessels to dilate okay so uh, dilate uh, pul pulmonary vascular resistance kam ho jayega lungs mein blood vessel uh, blood pooling ho jayega theek hai and all this pool blood will not be able to come back so this this will be more prob uh, problematic for children with uh, with coagulation okay now what is the treatment uh, what we uh, do the treatment is see, sur surgery is the preferred treatment for infants okay and overall survival rate is a 98% and follow up of Uh, at a medium of follow up 4.8 years to of age 10 okay so if uh, proper follow uh, follow up is there so there is uh, 98 children 98% children will survive and surgical repair is also possible in preterm infants even with children uh, who have a birth weight of less than 2.5 kg and in those children there is overall survival rate of 76% one year after the Uh, initial repair so this can be done, done even in preterm preterm babies so what is the uh, surgical repair one is end to end anast uh, anastomosis okay uh, typically preferred surgical method as it avoids prosthetic material allows resection of coagulation and has wider incision that is less prone to re uh, restenosis end to end anastomosis ka matlab kya hai what we what we do is uh, main aapko एक डायग्राम दिखाती हूँ सी दिस इज एंड टू एंड एनास्टोमोसिस यहाँ पर क्वेक्टेशन था सो व्हाट वी डू इज इसको निकाल दिया एंड ये दोनों को जोड़ दिया ओके यू जस्ट कट दी दी क्वेक्टेशन एरिया एंड दिस एंड विल बी जॉइन टू दिस एंड सो दिस इज द रिजल्ट ओके सो दिस इज एंड टू एंड anastomosis so uh, it avoids prosthetic material agar aisa hai prosthetic material matlab artificial koi cheez wahan nahi laga rahe hain so there is no uh, prosthetic material, uh, material and has wider incision and it has a uh, uh, wider uh, wider in, uh, wider incidence and uh, wider incision and which is less prone to restenosis okay so uh, the uh, this is one of the best methods to do the anastomosis what we what we do is jahan par coagulation hai we cut that area aur ek kata end dusra kata end se jod dete hain that is called as uh, end to end anastomosis okay Now second is balloon angio angioplasty. Balloon angioplasty का diagram मैं आपको दिखा रही हूँ. This is balloon angioplasty. So what we do is we introduce a catheter और देखो यहाँ पे coagulation है और यहाँ पे balloon है. So what we do is जहाँ पे coagulation पे inflate the balloon. Inflate मतलब balloon को फुला फुला देना. Okay. So this we do in Uh, in recurrent coagulation, recurrent coagulation मतलब एक बार surgical repair हो गया पर coagulation फिर से हो रहा है तो what we do is we do this balloon angio angioplasty. Second is endovascular stent. Endovascular stent. Stent का मतलब क्या है uh, I will show another diagram. सो this is a stent. Okay, this is a stent. So what we do is देखो यहाँ पे सूचर uh, कर लिया सूचर करने के बाद यहाँ पे 
फिर से क्वेटेशन नहीं होना चाहिए तो देखो इस टाइप का एक प्रोस्टेटिक मेटीरियल है एक फाइन नेट लाइक स्ट्रक्चर सो दैट इज कॉल्ड स्टेंट सो वॉट वी डू इज वी कीप इट इन साइड ताकि टू एंड दे डोंट क्लोज सो दैट इज दिस इज कॉल्ड ए स्टेंट ओके इस टाइप का नेट टाइप का स्ट्रक्चर सो वॉट वी फर्स्ट डू इज देखो ये क्वेटेशन का आपने रिमूव रिमूव कर दिया यहाँ पे यू हैव डन दिस सूचर सूचर करने के पहले व्हाट वी डू इज वी हैव अ स्टेंट इनसाइड फिर आप सूचर कर देंगे ओके सो दिस इज एंडो एंडो वैस्कुलर एंडो मतलब इनसाइड वैस्कुलर मतलब इनसाइड द ब्लड वेसल्स ओके दिस प्रोवाइड्स अ स्ट्रक्चरल सपोर्ट एंड डिक्रीज रेट्स ऑफ आयोटिक वॉल इंजुरी एंड एनोरिज्म एज कम्पेयर टू बेलून एंजो एंजियोप्लास्टिक सो दिस प्रोसीजर इज बेटर दैन बेलून एंजो एंजियोप्लास्टिक एंड कवर्ड स्टेंस में प्रोटेक्ट अगेंस्ट शेयर स्ट्रेस एंड सब्सिक्वेंट रिस्टिनोसिस तो फायदा फायदा क्या होता है कि बिकॉज यू हैव एडिशनल कवरिंग इन द एरिया ऑफ क्वेक्टेशन सो ज्यादा स्ट्रेस भी नहीं है नेक्स्ट इज रिस्टोनोसिस का चांसेस इज ऑल्सो लेस नाउ यूज ऑफ स्टेंट इज स्मॉल चिल्ड्रन इज कॉन्ट्रो कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल वाई बिकॉज इसका स्टेंट का साइज बड़ा आता है और जैसे बच्चे का एज बढ़ता है दिस मे क्रिएट प्रॉब्लम सो यूज ऑफ स्टेंट इन चिल्ड्रन इज is uh, uh, controversial means some uh, some people agree and some people do not do not agree balloon injury plastic ka maine pehle aapko bata diya this is stent okay now is uh, resection and end to end anast uh, anastomosis okay so what we uh, do here is main aapko uh, pehle maine jo diagram dikhaya tha this is resection and end to end uh, anastomosis सेकेंड इज पैच वाला पैच वाला मतलब देखो यहाँ कैप्टेशन था यू हैव रिमूव दिस और इस एरिया में यू हैव डन अ पैच ओके सो दैट इज योर सेकेंड वन पैच आयोटो प्लास्टिक इंसिशन इज एक्सटेंडेड अक्रॉस द क्वेक्टेशन एंड पैच इज सूच इन प्लेस टू ए लार्ज द स्टिनोटिक रीजियन ओके जहां पर स्टिनोसिस था उस जगह को बढ़ाने के लिए वॉट वी डू इज एक आर्टिफिशियल पैच we have studied in asd and bsd so that patch is sutured in place to enlarge the stenotic region okay so that is patch aapko samajh mein aa raha hai main samajh samajh rahi resection and simple end to end anastomosis resection matlab kaatna and end to end kata wala area ko remove kar diye and two ends join kar diye okay patch out to uh, plastic mein what we do is kaata or we have a patch taki thoda area bad jaye okay so that is called as patch aeroplasty okay now uh, third wala padhne ke pehle we just we need to go through the anatomy so this is arch of aorta arch of aorta mein this is ascending or this is transverse or ye hai descending okay ascending part jahan se start hota hai and then transverse part and then descending aorta okay Now, ascending aorta का पहला ब्रांच क्या है राइट कॉर्नरी एंड लेफ्ट लेफ्ट कॉर्नरी आर्टरी देन वॉट यू हैव अफेलिक आर्टी आर्टरी विच इज डिवाइडेड इंटू टू राइट कॉमन कैरोटेड एंड राइट सब क्लेवियर उसके बाद है देर इज लेफ्ट कॉमन कैरोटेड एंड दिस इज लेफ्ट सब क्लेवियर ओके लेफ्ट सब क्लेवियर ओके अभी कितना दीज आर दी ब्रांचेस फर्स्ट राइट राइट कोरोनरी एंड लेफ्ट लेफ्ट कोरोनरी ब्रेक्योसिफेलिक व्हिच इज डिवाइडेड टू राइट कॉमन कैरोटिड एंड राइट सबक्लेवियन एंड वी हैव लेफ्ट कॉमन कैरोटिड एंड लेफ्ट सबक्लेवियन ओके नाउ अभी हमारा लेफ्ट सबक्लेवियन से मतलब का है ओके नाउ आई विल स्टडी द थर्ड थर्ड वन सबक्लेवियन फ्लैप आयोटोप्लास्टी ओके सो व्हाट वी डू हियर इज Uh, there uh, there is a longitudinal incision is ex extended from proximal left subclavian artery beyond the area of coarctation co and the proximal left clavian stump is folded to enlarge the area of coarctation main aapko yahan bata rahi so what we do here is this area this area is enlarged theek hai isko kheech ke this is attached this this uh, the proximal end is extended to beyond the area of coarctation theek hai jo coarctation area ko nikal ke ye subclavian ka ye wala part ko usko yahan pe attach attach kar denge so this is called as 
the subclavian flap iotoplasty okay so this is extended from proximal left subclavian artery beyond the area of coarctation quack, quack, uh, and proximal left subclavian stump is folded to enlarge the area of coarctation uh, okay last is resection with extend uh, extended end to end anast uh, anastomosis okay so i will take again the same diagram so what we do here is we have a oblique incision oblique incision matlab aisa cutting we have a oblique incision oblique incision cut uh, dene ke baad jo coarctation area hai that is removed aur jaise hum log first mein padhe the end to end anastomosis kar dete hain okay uh, we have a oblique incision matlab aisa cutting karenge uske baad jo coarctation wala area hai we will remove that and we will join with each other agar aisa operation hai then it is called as resection with extended end to end anastomosis the coarctation is resected along using a broad longitudinal incision and a oblique anastomosis is constructed between under surface of transverse arch and descending thoracic aorta okay kiske beech mein fir connection ho jayega ye wala part the transverse part is attached to the descending aorta theek hai so humne abhi uh, kuch approaches padha first is uh, what we have is रिसेक्शन एंड सिंपल एंड टू एंड एनास्टोमोसिस कटिंग किया और दोनों जोड़ दिया सो दैट इज सिंपल एंड एंड टू एंड एनास्टोमोसिस पैच आउटो प्लास्टी में कटिंग किया एंड वॉट वी हैव इज आर्टिफिशियल पैच लगा दिया ताकि क्वेक्टेशन का एरिया थोड़ा सा बढ़ जाए ओके दैट इज कॉल्ड एज पैच आइटोप्लास्टिक थर्ड उसमें वॉट वी हैव इज लेफ्ट सब क्लेवियन आर्टी का ये वाला पार्ट को इज एक्सटेंडेड बियॉन्ड टू दी क्वेक्टेशन एरिया ठीक है सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज सबक्लेवियन फ्लैप आयोटोपास्टिक रिसेक्शन एंड एक्सटेंडेड एंड टू एंड एनास्टोमोस वॉट इज वॉट इज दैट वॉट वी हैव इज वी हैव अ कट हियर वी रिमूव द क्वेक्टेशन पार्ट और ट्रांसफर्स पार्ट विल बी अटैच टू द डिसेंडिंग पार्ट ओके एंड टू एंड एनास्टोमोस so that is called uh, so that is called as resection with extended end to end anastomosis okay now follow up life long follow up has to be there uh, with at least uh, annual cardiology visits which is uh, 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 repeat imaging every 5 years okay to ek bar aapne jo bhi obstruction jis bhi tarike se theek karaya ho end to end ho subclavian part iotoplasty whichever sur surgical intervention you have done but there are chances of recoagulation so that is why we need to uh, visit uh, the cardiology depart department and imaging has to be done uh, to find out whether coagulation uh, uh, recoagulation is there or not okay and then is uh, the um, हाइपरटेंशन ऑल्सो नीड्स टू बी मैनेज एग्रेसिवली ठीक है बी पी को कंट्रोल करना बहुत जरूरी है दी कॉम्प्लिकेशन आर रिक्वेक्टेशन आयोटिक एन्यूरिज्म परसिस्टेंट हाइपर हाइपर टेंशन एंड चेंजेस इन एनी एसोसिएटेड कार्डियक इफेक्ट ओके सो दीज थिंग्स कैन बी देयर आयोटिक एन्यूरिज्म का मतलब क्या सी दिस इज एनिज्म uh, का मतलब मतलब है जहां पर वीक हो जाता है वहां पर फुल जाना सो दैट इज बल्जिंग इन अक एंड एरिया दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एनिज्म सो यू कैन हैव एनिज्म ठीक है देखो यहाँ पर दीज आर द डिफरेंट प्लेसेस ऑफ एनिज्म ओके so and uh, what is the uh, prognosis aortic uh, coagulation of aorta is a lifelong disease and long term prognosis is guarded guarded matlab aage uh, 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 recoagulation hoga nahi hoga only time will tell and uh, management of bp also has to be uh, done okay so that is why follow up every 5 years has to be done okay then these individual also needs profile access for endo endocarditis agar kuch bhi invasive procedure hai so uh, they have to have uh, uh, this prophylactic antibiotics okay then short term who fail to manage hypertension tend to have 
worse outcome. So if you don't manage the hyper hypertension, the outcome is uh, more uh, prob uh, problematic. Okay. So survival will depend on uh, how well you have managed the case. Okay. Next is individual who fail to get the coagulation repairs are usually dead means they will not survive beyond 50 years of age. Okay. So that was all about uh, coagulation of aorta. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you so much for a patient listening.